Oh, well, there was plenty for the active types to do in Victoria this weekend. Some chose to sweat it out on the grass at Royal Athletic Park at boot camp. Former CFL defensive back turned fitness guru Tommy Europe was in Victoria Saturday to host Shred 2.0. I've come up with the Shred philosophy and it's basically pushing yourself to um, higher levels to get, uh, get the results that you want to get. All right, we can get those results in four weeks, I understand. You can get those results in as little as four weeks and then you just got to keep on going. So I just put up my new video. It's called Four Weeks to a New You. And if you go to fourweekstonewyou.com, it's all there. There's 12 videos, um, short, intense workouts uh, for busy people like ourselves. And it doesn't matter what your fitness level is. All I need is your desire and your drive. And uh, I will motivate you and push you along. Yes, he sure will. This was the scene at Royal Athletic Park on Saturday afternoon. Harborview Mortgages brought Tommy over from Vancouver to whip some people into shape. More than 50 people of all shapes and sizes took part in the hour-long boot camp session. Tommy's high-intensity classes incorporate resistance exercises, core training, and full body conditioning. It's perfect for bathing suit season. To find out more information about Tommy Europe's exercise programs, go to TommyEurope.tv. <laughs> You won't see this anywhere else in Canada. Spring football is unique to Vancouver Island. And yesterday in Langford, the Nanaimo Redmond Pee Wee squad took on the Saanich Wolverines in the Gold Cup final. Saanich led this game 24-8 late in the fourth quarter. But check out this little ball hawk on the Redmond with the strip and the run back. Now that would lead to a touchdown. Saanich hangs on for the 24-16 victory on a superb ending to the spring football season. We have kids playing from the ages of 7 to 14 years old at a time of year where most people are not playing football. So it, it allows players that would normally be involved in other sports in the fall to play football in the spring. So we get about 350 kids in Victoria, and we also have Nanaimo and a Cowichan that come down and play with us as well, uh, separate from our own league. So there's probably uh, 420 kids playing football in Victoria at this time of year. Island produces good football players. Good football, I bet. Mm -hmm. All right, my thank you. You're welcome.